All right, we're here with Stephen Stokels, the founder and CEO of Woomi. Uh, Stephen, what is Woomi? So that's the question. Woomi is basically a new site that will revolutionize the way that people meet. So Woomi has taken the offline phenomenon of speed dating, developed an online speed dating platform, leveraging cutting edge in browser voice and video capabilities. So not client downloads like Skype, but actually in the browser, uh, that enables people to meet in a new, fun, fast, and free fashion. So offline speed dating is people running from table to table uh, for a very short amount of time doing sort of these quick hit introduction type things. Exactly. Same general concept online? It's a very similar concept. We've taken the, the offline speed dating concept, which is exactly what you articulated, is a huge phenomenon, a billion dollar business by next year in less than 10 years. We've basically taken that concept uh, and webified it in a way that people can meet say five people in five minutes, for example, in a topical session that are created by the user. So for example, the user may create rollerbladers in London, and they may have five guys, five girls, and you get a minute with each person. Um, can we take a look at this and see what it looks we like? We can. Let's, uh, let me show you right now. This is a session page. You're seeing here our actual alpha. These are the sessions, the different speed sessions. Um, and these were created by our actual alpha users. You can see there's 36 sessions that have been created. And these range from topics. Um, People who like old movies and classic rock, for example, is this one. This is nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts. You can see who's in the session, because that's critical. So this session has three guys who have registered and one female. This session, called Uzi fans, uh, some of our users are a bit more violent than others, uh, has see five people, six people who have already registered one spot for a female. Let me show you what it actually does. I'm gonna, I like the A-team, so I'm going to go dig into this session right here. It's called the A-team rocks. What, it, what is the you. speed aspect of of this so, online. Okay, so let me show you. Actually, we will, will not show you an action. I'm going to join this session. You just hit join, and you're you're added to the session. You successfully successfully join the session. You'll see that my photo now updates. We get a slow connection here because there's about 700 laptops logged on to the same network. But you can see now I'm in the session. The speed session. Let's go back. I'm going to see when the next session starts. We may be fortunate to show you a live session. So the next one starts at 26 minutes. We don't have that kind of time. So I'm going to switch over to some PowerPoint. Okay. Here's what would happen if a session were starting now. You basically would see this. You're now joining the session City Professionals in London. Five seconds to go. The session would start. You're about to meet Ann Kutchik. This is just buffering, and then it goes into a live voice and video. That's Ann. That's me. You've got a live video session, very high quality voice and video. There's eight people in the session. I get one minute with each. So this is a countdown timer that shows me I've got 25 seconds left with Ann. When the 25 seconds is done, I can say whether I was wooed or not. And then I go on to the next person, I get another minute. And okay. voice and video is required to participate in this. We have voice only sessions for those without webcams. Okay. Uh, voice video is the sexier piece of it. And actually, we think over time, as more and more laptops and more and more people get video cameras, that will become the ubiqu ubiquitous uh, fashion. But you can do either. You get one minute with each person, is that right? One minute with each person, and I'll show you. Two. So at the end of the session, you'll have a summary page that shows everybody you've met. You say who, who wooed and who didn't woo you. If I was wooed by, let's say, Ann and Q-Chick, I select them, not wooed by everybody else, and that takes me to a page that says, hey, great news, just like in the off-dating model, offline model, Ann and Q-Chick were also wooed by you, so we have a mutual match. I know that they liked me as well, and for 99 cents, the cost of an iTunes song, I can go ahead and get their contact info. Um, so you can have multiple people wooing you? Yes, as many people as you connect with, you can go ahead and as many people that woo you is, is how many people woo you, and vice versa. The, the only hinge is that you need to woo them as well. Okay. So there needs to be a mutual connection. Now the other element that you just asked about, and I'll show you, again, these are all user-created sessions. So we're opening this platform up to the creativity of the masses, and you can already see just with 60 users, alpha users, we get all kinds of crazy sessions. To create a session, it's quite easy. You go to a page. You got about 12 fields of which only six are, are mandatory, which is the session name. You put in a session name, and I can actually do this. We'll call it uh, called San Jose Tech Lovers. Oh, yeah, you can brand it with an image if you want, and then you basically just uh, pick a region if you want. I'm going to say the world. This is open up to the world, ages between 18 and let's just say 45. And here's where you can make it a two on two, three on. So you can have as many people as you want in the session. So. I want a big session, I want eight people, so I'm going to make it an eight on eight, and I want people to spend, I want to give them 90 seconds apiece, so this is going to be a quite long session, uh, 90 seconds a pop, you can go as high as three minutes, 
So do you, do you have to wait until you get the number of people that you've asked to participate? No, I mean, so, so that's a good question. What happens is I create the session, I'm done. We should just do the session will play. As long as there's at least four people, the session will play. Mm -hmm. So this session could be blank and only four people will show up. And I'll show you an actual session. It'll still play. If you can't get at least four people into a session, the session's canceled. But as you can see, uh, this session, for example, will play regardless, even though it's not full, if it doesn't fill up in time. Uh, the other element is that there's viral networks built in, so as a session creator, I actually can promote my session to other users of the site or to people not on the site. Uh, and to take a look, here's people, here's alpha users, real alpha users on the site. Uh, here's Annie. I'm going to click Annie. Again, this isn't a deep profile, there's a very thin profile. It's not about looking through profiles, it's about getting her into a session and seeing if there's real chemistry. Um, so I can invite her to a session. So here's all the sessions I've already registered for. There's the founder and CEO. It's pretty much most of them because I want to make sure the quality is there. I'm going to pick. Really, not the best picture there for for Annie. She doesn't look particularly engaged here. Yeah, Annie looks a bit disengaged there. So uh, we're going to try to get her into it. We're going to invite her to mountain bikers. And again, uh, she'll get an email that says Stephen has invited you to this session, um, and it shows my invites right here. If you go back, you can also join a session that Annie's in. So I could see the sessions that she was in and join one of those if I'd like to meet her that way. So one of the sessions that she was in, we just moved off the page, was single banker guys looking for fun. Was that right? Boy, let's see. I might have competition if that's the case. <laughs> but, uh, doesn't look like she's in any sessions. Oh, okay. um, but if we find somebody who is in a session, let's say... Uh, let's go with this one. Okay. So... The difference here between offline speed dating and obviously online speed dating is the physical proximity here. These people could be anywhere in the world. They can be anywhere in the world, and again, you can see, so in the offline world, you show up, and there's 30 people in a room, and you can look at them within 30 seconds and say, wow, of these 30 people, only two of them look interesting. Mm -hmm. Here you actually have a lot of self-selection that goes on ahead of time. You, you pick a session that sounds interesting to you, like you would pick a bar. You pick a bar that's got cool people in it, you pick a session that's got cool people in it. Mm -hmm. You see the people ahead of time, uh, and it's much more of a bridge. We're actually trying to evolve social networking and online dating and all the ways that people meet each other today. We're trying to evolve that whole paradigm into the next generation where it's a link between the physical and online worlds in a way that hasn't been done before. And again, it's the new technology we're using that enables this whole proposition. Twelve months ago this was not possible. We needed client downloads, it was a very clunky user experience. Today, this proposition, because of the advancements in in-browser and optimization that we've done as a company, we can deliver this high-quality communication. This is still an incredibly shallow way to meet people, though, is it not? It's all shallow. You go to a bar and you meet somebody, it's all shallow. All initial introductions are shallow is the reality of life. Uh, but hopefully over time you develop that deep, meaningful relationship that uh, some of us are fortunate enough to have. But we're not a dating site. We're not about hearts and soulmates. We're about quick introductions. Try to find those people you have initial connections with. And then obviously from there, it's up to you. Real quick about the company, you guys are based where, how many employees, etc., etc. Uh, we were found, we were started in, L in London, uh, where I lived. I just relocated to San Francisco. We're headquartered out of San Francisco. And we've got a Los Angeles office as well. Okay. Ten how many employees? Ten employees, uh, plus 14 interns, which are part time. You've taken it, any funding? Or are you looking for funding, or what's the status of it? We've taken some funding, and we'll announce tomorrow. Uh, we've got some funding from some, some key investors uh, and some very notable angels as well who are. Uh, successful entrepreneurs and well-known entrepreneurs in their own right. If people want to experience the site, when and where can they do that? So if they want to experience the site, what we're doing on the heels of TechCrunch 20 is we're opening up to 1,000 alpha users. We're going to have to, we've are going to we already got tens of thousands of pre-registrations, so we're going to have to be a bit selective. But if you go to woomi.com and you register, and you say, uh, in the where you heard about us, you say TechCrunch 20 or actually San Jose Mercury News, we'll give that preferential treatment and try to get an alpha invite to, to those people first. Okay, cool. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you.